Okay, so today we're going to talk about exponents, and we've already talked about them a little bit when we talked about order of operations, but today we're going to learn how to write multiplication as exponents, and we're going to learn some basic exponent rules which is going to help you solve some equations. So you remember an exponent is written like x squared or y cubed. So this number right here tells us how many times x is going to multiply by itself. So for x squared, when you if you remember talking about squares in geometry, it's x times x. Or y cubed is y times y times y. So we're going to write this expression as an exponent. There's only one 4, so we can write it 4 to the 1, which you don't, if it's just to the 1 power, you don't have to write it because it's assumed that anything that doesn't have an exponent is just to the 1 power. And so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 x's multiplied. So we have x to the fourth, and we have one, two, three y's, so we have y to the third. So if it's written like this, and it asks for the cube of c minus a, well, here's some things you'll have to just kind of memorize. Cube means to the third power. Square, which you already know, means to the second power. And then anything after 3, you're just going to say to the 4th power, to the 5th power, or they're just going to write it out like this and have you write it. So the cube of c minus a is c minus a. Remember, because this is we want this first. Remember our order of operations, and then we just put a cube on the outside of the parentheses. So now what we're going to talk about are some basic exponent rules. So, the only way you can combine exponents are if they have the same base. And the base is this number right here. Or, um, if it's a letter, it has to be the same letter. Or if it's like 4 squared times 4 squared, you can combine those. So, now when we have something with an exponent times the same base with an exponent, we're going to add our powers. So for this we take 2 plus 2 is 4, and this becomes a to the fourth. Because if you look, this is a times a, and then this is times a times a, so we have four a's, so a to the fourth. When we're adding exponents with the same base, this becomes 2a squared, because this is a times a plus a times a. So this is a squared, this is a squared, since we have two of them, we can combine them like that. You cannot, and I repeat, cannot combine exponents over addition by multiplying them. And for this last one, we have a number with an exponent raised to another exponent. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply your powers. So this becomes a to the sixth. This is the only time you actually multiply your powers. Because up here it looks like you multiplied them, but you added them. You add up here, and when it's a power to another power, you multiply. So here's this little note you have to remember. You cannot distribute an exponent. So this, and we're not going to talk that much into it because this deals with um, some more advanced concepts. I just want you to know that you cannot say that this is equal to this because this is not true. And we'll figure out why a little bit later on, but you just if they give you an, an expression like this and they don't give you numbers to plug in, there's nothing you can do. This is the only way you can write it. So now we're going to do some work with exponents. So when it says evaluate, it means plug in these numbers and find out what it equals. 
So we're going to plug in 2 for x. So we have 2 squared times 3 cubed times 4. So 2 times 2 is 4. This is equal to 4. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 4. And I'm going to put that in the calculator, because that's going to be a kind of big number. 4 times 4 times 27, 432. Exponents get really big really fast. So this time, each one, we're going to go on to number 3. 2 Q squared. 3 squared, 4 squared. So 2 squared is 4, times 3 squared, which is 9, times 4 squared, which is 16. And again, I'm going to pull out my calculator. 576. When doing problems with exponents, it's really beneficial to use a calculator just because the numbers get so big. I mean, you can do them by hand, it's just easier. So 4 cubed times 3. 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. 64 times 3 is equal to 192. And then we have 3 squared times 2. Now this one isn't going to be that big. 3 squared is 9, times 2 is 18. So that's all the work we're going to do with exponents today. But make sure you come back and we're going to learn about polynomial expressions.